Hello, and welcome to another edition of Around the Sty with Commissioner d -neck. There were no notable trades or acquisitions this week other than the regular pickups and drops of starting pitchers and catchers, shortstops. But what is notable is that Bruce and Dale still do not have a win. And how, how crazy is that, uh, these guys coming in thinking that they can come play with the big boys in this league. And as you see, they're still 0-2 and really not looking good for uh, future wins in the next coming weeks either. They have tough matchups, and I just don't see it happening. But anyway, let's jump right into the matchups that happened this week. First matchup was Latos Intolerant versus Right in the Pujols. The Latos Intolerance beat them 412 and a half to 289 and a half. I was speaking to Caleb uh, while we were sitting on the couch the other day, and he was telling me that it feels great to avoid being 0-2 uh, to start the season. Uh, a big shout out to David Price for being the top scorer. Uh, he looks forward to another easy win next week when he faces the rookie Dale and the minor league motherfuckers. Next matchup would be the minor league motherfuckers versus the bleacher creatures. The bleacher creatures took that one away, 363 to 247 and a half. I was talking to Timmy yesterday while we were cutting grass at the same time, and he told me, you know, once you've been in the minors for too long, it's time to come to realization that you need to move on and go focus on something new. Uh, go lift something, Coach Bartek. Ow, that kind of hurts. A little bit of a stinger. <laughs> anyway. The next matchup would be the rim job of 51 year olds versus the knob jockeys. And the knob jockeys took this one 429 to 344 and a half. Now, I was speaking to Loco the other day while we were uh, cleaning a basketball court. And he told me, it's good to get an easy win under my belt. Um, every league has a redheaded stepchild. And I think it's safe to say that we found ours. <laughs> Fives. Now, the last matchup, or the second to last matchup, is the whispering eye bars. Versus burn it to the ground. The whispering eyebar eyebars took this 414 and a half to 318. Pretty convincing. Now, and I asked John for a comment the other day. He told me that um, he didn't really have a comment towards burn it to the ground, but he's looking forward to putting the bleacher creatures in their place this week. Um, he told me that 300 points isn't going to cut it against the whispering eyebars, which you know might be true, but I think he's kind of a little bit uh, skeptical on getting that that big of a win. Um, so the last matchup was you and I caught Manny Trout versus Team Yeah GT. Yeah, probably the best matchup this week as it was back and forth. Um, you know, I was speaking to, to DNAC the other day while we were going over um, notes and he told me that, you know, championships aren't won during the week. You know, great teams win during the week, but championship teams win on the weekend and come and show up when it's necessary. And that's what I do every week, um, despite all my DL players. And that will do it for those matchups last week. Uh, after this commercial break, we'll go over this week's matchups. And welcome back to Around the Sty with Commissioner d -neck. This week's matchups would be Rim Job, a 51-year-old, versus UNI Cop Manny Trout. Should be a gimme. Now, the knob jockeys are going to be playing Burn It to the Ground. The minor league motherfuckers will be playing Latos Intolerant. Right in the poo holes will be playing Team Yeah GT Yeah. And the bleacher creatures will be playing the Whispering Eye Bars. I'm excited about week three. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of good matchups. I think it's really going to determine who's going to have the, the uh, edge in this league. Um, hopefully, maybe one of the new guys can just maybe squeak a win out. It probably won't be against me, but you know, maybe maybe Dale. No, he probably won't win either. But that's okay. You know, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Um, that will do it for around the sty. Um, until next time, guys. Stay filthy. Beatrice, are you are you kidding me? You put you put a question mark on the fucking teleprompter. <laughs>